too quickly, or are you feeling pretty ready to go? I mean, I feel ready to go, but it definitely this offseason feels pretty short. <laughs> I feel like we were just playing like last weekend, you know? But yeah, we're, I'm ready to go for sure. Feel good, ready to roll. What about um, this particular year for you and looking back at what you accomplished last year personally, um, do you want to kind of carry over and, and maybe even evolve a little bit this season? Um, obviously, I want to be even better this season. You know, I always trying to improve, you know, work harder and be better. So my goal is, you know, be even better than last season and perform even better. Yeah. Was there anything you worked on particularly through the offseason? Uh, I've worked a lot on my get off speed. That was one the thing I was really focused on this offseason. Uh, and like hand fighting stuff, like D line, stuff like that. So, yeah. Wait, wait. And wakeboarding. And wakeboarding. <laughs> That's great, but with the, the whole mentality of three teams champions, how does that feel? Is that like a lot of pressure for you guys? or? Um, kind of like what other guys have said, you know, last year was last year, you know, this is a different team and, you know, we just, we're going to do our best every game, you know, go from there. You guys lean on guys that won championships before, like Bobby Wagner and stuff like that? Yeah. And like, even when Vaughn was here, you know, talking to him and stuff, it's pretty cool, so. Was that Sean? Uh, I think he's like said it like during OTAs, but yeah, it's just like, you know, last year was last year. Like, we're a whole new team this year, and we just got to be our best. What's your sense of the defensive line? Um, with you, another year of experience playing alongside Aaron, do you, where do you feel you guys are as a, as a group going into this? I mean, honestly, I feel like, I feel like we're going to have the best D-line in the league. You know, we got... We're uh, we got some really good good guys in the D line. You know, we got Aaron Donald, Ashawn Robinson, Leonard Floyd, and Justin Hollins. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun crew. We're gonna have a really good time out there. So, what can we know uh, about Justin? You got some time last year to play alongside him in, in live action, and then he obviously got hurt. Mm -hmm. What can we know about him and, and what he's like to play next to, um, and, and kind of where you guys hope to um, sort of escalate in that? Um, Justin Hollins is, is a really good pass rusher for sure. I mean, I played with him I think the last two seasons. You know, I got to play next to him, and I love rushing next to him. He's a good, good guy, a good communicator, and a great pass rusher. So, great. What type of difference maker do you see Bobby being? I think he's going to be a huge asset for us. You know, just having somebody back there with that kind of like elite skill level and experience is going to be awesome for us you know we're going to be able to take a little more risks up front maybe you know I mean I think it's going to be really cool I'm really excited to play with him and he seems like a really great guy too from what I've talked to him in the offseason. Is there anything that you've maybe learned from him or something that surprised you about him in the offseason? Um, not really I haven't I mean I talked to him a couple of times in OTAs I haven't really got to know him too much yet he lived kind of far away he had like a house that was like an hour and a half away so he couldn't really hang out with us afterwards but you know, we'll see as we get to know him, you know. Um, Greg, uh, understanding your focus is on football and, and this season ahead and everything, um, have you all given any thought or consideration to being in a contract year and what that means for you and sort of your long-term future as it pertains to what you want to accomplish this year? Um, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> going into the contract year, obviously, it's a big year. And, you know, I just like I said earlier, I'm just trying to be even better than last year and just do my best, you know. That's... That's all I can do. I try not to worry about it too much, but you know, I just if I just play my best, I know things will work out. So, and going having been through several camps now, what have you learned in terms of your own uh, how to monitor for yourself how to get ready for a season? How is it different now than it was when you came in as a rookie? Um, I don't know. I guess like you train a little different now. Like you kind of figure out what you need to really focus on the off season and stuff and just kind of how you take care of your body I guess like I do a lot more into like doing the rehab and stuff in the off season now and like just because it's so hard to stay healthy for a whole season you know 21 games last season was a lot so you know it just that's I think that's the biggest difference I'd say I work just as hard but I've got a little more into the recovery aspect now and rehab and stuff like that you played through also 
go? Did you have any procedural stuff? Well, yeah, I had surgery on his hand, but I mean, it's they just put some a plate and some screws in there, and it's all good. Haven't hasn't haven't even noticed it since then. And that surgery was in the season last year, if I'm remembering. Yeah, I think it was just after week 17 or 18, right after, right before the Ravens game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you said any metal detectors off? No, I haven't. I was wondering about that. I was, <laughs> I've been through a couple metal detectors; they don't go off, but. <laughs> Craig, are there any of your uh, you know, younger teammates along the defensive line, especially, that you've been impressed by that you feel like are you know, in a position to take a big step forward this long? Yeah, I think uh, Mike Hoyt is one of the guys I've been training with a lot, and he uh, he's a heck of a dude. He's, he trains really hard, hardworking guy, um, super athletic. You know, he does a lot of our special team stuff, which is incredible considering he's like 285 pounds. That's the, you don't see that a lot in the NFL. And so I think he's going to be a – He's going to be a good ball player for us this year. Thanks, Greg. All right. Thank you. Welcome back.